Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a um, <clears throat> Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And we are to jump straight away uh, to the reading. Right. <clears throat> so the first card which represents the topic for Cancer's uh, week that is going to be uh, the Queen of Wands followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Cancer needs to overcome for throughout the week this is going to be the Page of uh, Cups afterwards what we have it is the um, excuse me the positive aspect of the week that will be the Seven of Pentacles and then the last card that we have for you, Cancers, this is, or Cancer, this is the uh, Emperor card, which stands for the guidance that week offers for you guys. All right, so once again, uh, the Queen of Wands, it is the general topic, followed by the challenges here with the Page of Cups. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the Seven of Pentacles. And then the last one is going to be uh, the uh, Emperor card, which is... Um, the guidance all right so um this reading will differentiate if you are a parent or if you don't have children okay so it's going to be a very different experience so um i will just touch i will just touch it if you are a parent and especially if your child or children are in in a growing phase meaning in between uh, let's say um, one or zero to a 14 years old and what the reading says uh, if that's the case is that <clears throat> just giving you an example here uh, is that your child may be insubordinate for example to a teacher of theirs or to a um, daycare person uh, of theirs are not following an instructions okay and your job for throughout the week is going to be to make that child of yours you know to follow those instructions of the institution that the child is either a school daycare you know it could be as well a doctor like uh, your child went to a doctor it was uh, sick for some reason the doctor prescribed certain pills or you know certain treatment and your child isn't following that treatment so it's kind of like you know making your child to um go back to the regime that it has been prescribed or it is required so your child can fit into uh, the society that is in case uh you know you do have a children now um <clears throat> if the reading does not applies to that then what we have here it is a, um, a person that is going to be the topic itself, a person who is to push you a little bit in a sense of that, um, well, how do I display? Well, that is not going to be a charity, all right? But uh, for one or another reason, uh, ba no, based on a, a fortunate circumstances, their growth 
it also matches with your growth. So what happens here, <clears throat> it is the Queen of Wands, that's a, a person who very well knows, you know, what you are capable of. And uh, as a happy coincidence, it's like I said, what you are capable of and what you are good of, it is also something of that person's use. Now, this person usually have a cute business sense, you know, they also have that sense into the human nature as well, <clears throat> and they are very enthusiastic. And usually they are very successful as well, either regarding career or either regarding relationships. So we can talk here about, I can't say really a cooperation, guys, but it's more like a um, a fellowship. I don't know how to describe it. It's a one-time help, let's say it that way. A one-time help which will allow you, you know, to further your things or to become excuse me, more uh, more successful or in a better position into your career, <clears throat> you know, or a one-time thing which will boost your confidence and will allow you to chase the person you want to be with, for example. <clears throat> now, the thing is that this one-time cooperation or one-time participation will truly going to uh, force a long-term changes but these changes are not going to be uh, executed for throughout the week now what is to happen here is that throughout the week you will have to align yourself according to the change that it is to loom um, on the horizon so the accompanied card here is going to be the eight of wands formation it is a active supporters that we have and this one-time cooperation or one-time enterprise that you do uh, have with this uh, person here most likely a, a woman is going to be like i said exactly what you need in order to i uh, um further your goal or in generally <clears throat> you know to become more successful or a more desirable uh, that could be a uh, how can I describe it that could be a counselor uh, for example you know you try to be in the relationship but for one or another reason things aren't working out recently or they're not working out at all and you see you have that friend of yours who is constantly changing suitors and they are very successful into their relationship life so they are to divulge the secrets how they're doing it so it's one-time cooperation which is exactly what you need you know to become simply better in what you want to do from now on but that will require some adaptation and is going to be uh the the challenge itself, we do have the Page of Cups. And the challenge here with the Page of Cups stands of that you need to make that crucial and critical as well, um, self-analysis and self-assessment, which will allow you to, uh, let's say, change positions, all right? All right, readopting one's position in order to become much more easier for you to provoke or to initiate the change which is required for you to become more successful into your career or more desirable when it comes to finding a, a person that you want to be with. Uh, the accompanied card here is the Wheel of Fortune formation, passive enemies that we have. And so uh, also challenge is going to be the realization that you need to realize that everything is within your hands. Um, relying on fortune or relying on faith, let's say, to accidentally make you meet the person you uh, that you are going to find um, suitable for you or that dream job of yours is going to just delay the um, delay the event, okay? And you have to force it by yourself. And this is exactly what that person will either teach you or show you how to do throughout the week, June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. And like I said, it's not gonna be a process that you are gonna necessarily like um, executing, but it's gonna be the right way to do things. <clears throat> okay, so next one it is the uh, positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. So the most positive thing about the Seven of Pentacles is that you are going to have that time to catch up your breath and to um, sort your things in order, if I may express it that way. Catching up your breath from a start, from a sense of that uh, I will want to give you here an example to make my point across more clearer, uh, like. Uh, until this moment, let's say that you are doing, that you are working, all right, and you don't like that job uh, that you are doing. 
right now. So you're frantically trying to find a better job. This person comes around and uh, divulge you the secret how you can do it. So you finally can catch up your breath, you know, sort out your things and do the necessary actions in order to uh, catch up the job that you want to work from now on to probably your pension. So this kind of a catch up of a breath I am talking about. And on a more um, practical side, the seven of pentacles points that maybe there are going to be those kind of like in an opportunistic moments that are lurking behind the corner but that is not going to be a uh, true for every single cancer all right for some of you you may have the look of the draw and have what it is needed as the circumstances to um <clears throat> to help yourself provoke the change for others those circumstances needs to be provoked by themselves additionally to that the card here the next one or the catalyst is going to be the ten of pentacles so Ten of Pentacles here uh, comes as a, a passive supporter to the Seven of Pentacles. And uh, with this card, it looks like that this week is going to be a, a very productive week for you thinking of how you are to um, invest your time and money, if I may, uh, if I may express it that way. <clears throat> And as well, invest your love, invest your performance. Uh, do the uh, divulging of the secret, if I may express it that way as well, of success. So that person here is going to give you the recipe of success. Do you want to follow it or not? That depends on you. You know, it's not going to be the recipe for everybody. Yeah, people have different criteria. People have different uh, how do you say it, the virtuous as well. And for some of you, that recipe is not going to be something that suits you, but it doesn't make it less true as well. So <clears throat> these couple of cards here are urging you as a positivity throughout the week to, um, step, uh, to stop for a second and truly think about what that person is telling you or showing you. And can you not incorporate it into your daily routine making yourself more lucrative or more successful you know or more happier when it comes to a uh, either relationship or a career now these couple of cards as well could speak about that a an, a person from your past comes around doesn't necessarily have to be your ex all right it could be a, an old friend of yours and it, they speak for also a, about catch up like you are to catch up with this person and maybe you know you can solidify a, a future relationship with them so the last card that we have for you cancer is going to be the emperor and emperor is about the guidance that Tsaro is offering to you so emperor speaks that you have to approach this queen of wands that we talked about the very topic here with huge sense of reliability meaning that as a she or he is cooperating with you in this one-time enterprise you need to present yourself very reliable and as well structured very trustworthy so that person can divulge you their secret of uh, their secret of success or uh, lucrivity based on that it seems that you will be uh, you will have much more easier time to sort out your life or to sort out your situations either career wise or either relationship wise and by doing so you will find out that you have much more free time for yourself than you are usually are um, having at your disposal the accompanied card here that is to be as well the high priestess the formation it is a active enemies that we have and um, with the high priestess here these cards are pointing that this week it is the week where you have to make up your mind how you want to uh, approach you know either your job either your relationship your marriage you know or friendships you name it you don't have you sh well it's not like you have to do something straight away like i said you know but you need to make up your mind you need to make up your narrative you need to uh, establish your fulcrum and from there, you can start working toward that for fulcrum or to execute the narrative the way that it is supposed to be executed. All right, so uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, for a June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.